Good morning, students. So I'll now be explaining the challenge number two as a part of the deep thought selection process. You are given a link. Just copy paste it into your address bar. So then you'll be pointed here. You'll have to register your account. So just click on register. You can enter your email address, and you can enter you know whatever uh, username uh, you want. and then you can set a desired password okay and then you click on register now so you'll have to go through these terms and then once you submit you will directly get into the live classroom right and once you get into the live classroom you'll have to watch this video so there's also subtitles available so if you uh, if you wish you can split it into two windows and watch them in parallel you watch this window and you can listen to what the speaker is saying so i watch it and i use my thread builder thread builder and write people were familiar with computer industry so what i hear what i hear the person speaking i put it in my thread and what i understand uh, from it right or my own thoughts my own questions anything can come in the sub interpretation like people already knew computers they would like this example over other example so what i am understanding from this uh, Thing which the speaker is saying, I can write it in my sub interpretation. So each point you can write it as a sub thread, and once the thread is over, like let's say we listen to some more points. Yeah. So at the beginning, the the first manifestation of digital technology was in the It cost several million dollars to buy, and it took years. So let's say he says first computer was. A mainframe computer. It's a very big one. That's what I understand of it. Several millions to buy, leads to train. Not everyone. Not every company can use it. So I'm writing down the points which are there in the video. Like he said, the first computer was a mainframe computer. it took several millions of dollars to buy it and it took several weeks to train the computer then what i understand from it that not every company can use it because it's very tough you need to spend a lot of time to train and you need to spend a lot of money to buy this is what i understand right or not only your understanding you can write your questions you can write your own thoughts your own ideas on the right side now here because the thread is over you can write a summary the author used the example of computer industry as we all are familiar with computers he explained how initial computer was very expensive and why everyone couldn't afford it right and after this thread is over i can go to my next thread and here you if you think it's an argument if you think he was arguing something or if you think he is explaining something you can choose one of the buttons or if you think he is explaining a new concept you can click on core principle uh if it's a new idea for you you can click on insight if he's trying to prove something wrong counter example if he's trying to compare things and explain if you wish to you can leave this blank in the challenge but the sub thread and interpretation are mandatory sub thread and interpretation are mandatory and then you can write a thread summary then now we'll move to the next sub thread so let's say I go forward so in the next sub thread he said everyone has access to it so i'm so i, I hope you can see the difference between sub thread and thread so your thread is like a Country, your sub thread is like a state. If your thread is India, 
sub thread is like telangana and the other sub thread let's say is like maharashtra and other sub thread is karnataka so we are organizing all the points into sub threads but all, all these points are under one thread so these all this might be hyderabad this might be sikandarabad this might be varangal but they are all of telangana and if you look at the next sub thread one thing might be mangalore other thing might be bangalore but they are all of karnataka so i am organizing all my points into threads so this thread a that is all these points then there is thread b which are the other points and so on so this is how we will organize all the points into threads and sub threads and on the right side you can write down what you understood from it and at the end of it you can also write something called an eagle builder that is how does he introduce what is how does he introduce the topic what was the first uh, concept he explains let's say the first concept was uh first computer was difficult to use what all examples he is giving he is giving one example that millions to buy maybe he is giving another example ki weeks to train and then you can enter your new thread let's say your new thread is everyone has access so what all examples he gave here and how he connected the first one to the second one how he connected the first topic to second topic so let's say he said that can we give access to everyone does technology eventually go to everyone so what i'm trying to say is in the eagle builder you write a summary of the whole video flow how did he introduce the topic what uh, what was the first uh, topic what are the examples under this topic then how is he connecting one topic to another topic what is uh, so and then you write the second topic here and you write the examples under the se second topic let me annotate here so you are writing introduction then you are writing topic under the topic you are writing the examples then you write another topic and you write the examples on the another topic and you are also writing how he is connecting both the topics that's called a transition how he is connecting both the topics is called a transition and for each topic that is thread a you are writing three examples then for thread b you are writing three examples for thread a you are writing three examples for thread b you are writing three examples that's the overall flow and then finally you are writing conclusion this is the overall flow of the eagle builder let me quickly go through the thread builder also in the thread builder what you are doing is all your points all your points you are organizing them as sub threads and then you can write your own interpretation of it then at the end of all the points in the sub threads your summary whatever your understanding of thread a you can write it here and then you move to the next thread and you write all the points here and on the right side on the right side you can write your own ideas what you understood by it or any questions you may have different things you can write on the right side so you will fill only the thread builder and the eagle builder i repeat you will fill only the thread builder and the eagle builder yeah so i hope you guys have fun with the thread building activity i'm sending this class link and i'm also sending the uh, video link here i hope you guys have fun with the activity all the best uh, children